more stuff coming at ya. This time we've got some interesting things pertaining to bomb arrows, so if you enjoy this series, give this video a like. We're just glad that you guys enjoy Breath of the Wild as much as we do. Alright, here we go. Did you know that bomb arrows shot in the rain can still explode? You're used to having your bomb arrows become weak duds when shot in the rain, but technically they're still live. Just have the unignited arrow in a covered spot or just wait till the rain stops. Then take any fire source to the bomb arrow on the ground, and it will set it off. Even a piece of flint works. And to top it off, shooting a bomb arrow with another bomb arrow launches them and ignites them, making a secondary explosion. Stun locks can be tough to break apart. The only consistent way to do this is to fire a bomb arrow at its eyeball. But there is one secret weapon out there that can break them apart at any time. The almighty bookshelf. Just swing this hunk of metal at them and they'll fall apart instantly, making their eyeball easy pickings. Not even the mighty large iron box can do this trick. Did you know that Mipha's first concept wasn't the typical shark fin Zora design? She was originally modeled after the venomous lionfish, with fins that would fan out and expand when she's engaged in combat. While I personally thought that this was an insanely cool design, going with the more gentle and cute appearance does fit her personality a little bit better. Perhaps we could spend some time together. Did you know the center of buoyancy for every pot is slightly different? Goron pots turn straight up and down, Normal and Rito pots tilt sideways, and Zora pots flip completely upside down. Nothing really useful about this at all, but the fact that the developers even put time into thinking about this is pretty interesting. Over the years, many players have tried to ride a horse in the desert. While people can get the horse there, riding it freely around the desert sands is pretty much impossible. But wild animals such as bears and deer don't count in this category. Using horse wrong warping, you can now explore the desert sands with your dear friend. When it comes to shrines with targets, there's no need to use this annoying cannon bomb contraption. Just use a bomb arrow on the targets. And at this shrine specifically, multi-shot bomb arrow will take out both of these targets at the same time. An old thing many players still don't know about is that signs can be read and examined even after being cut off its post. It even depends which side it fell on, as you can't read a sign that's face down, which makes sense. Moblins are known for tossing their friends at you, dealing damage equal to the thrown enemy's base melee damage. What's interesting though is that for stall enemies, the body and the head damage is calculated differently, with the body itself doing one heart of damage, but any skull doing two and a half hearts of damage and a knockdown instead. If you want a really dumb but entertaining way to get height, head to Death Mountain and get at least a couple hundred bomb arrows. Do a bow smuggle, then switch to your bomb arrows. You'll start to constantly explode over and over while actually gaining height. Funny thing is, after the first bomb, you don't take any further damage because of ragdoll protection, and even protects you against Death Mountain's hot air, which will stop burning you. After a while, you have gotten pretty high up. Someone mentioned in the last video about having the final memory cutscene being slightly different if you take a picture of a photo on the wall first. The cool thing that people didn't notice is that this wall has a special filter that won't detect and capture your equipment accidentally in third person, and instead sees that you've taken a picture of the photo. Link will now instead recall the photo that you've taken instead of simply looking around and flashing back without any references. Ah, just like I remember it. Wait a minute. There's an old trick of throwing a boomerang that allows you to have a circle around you, called boomerang orbiting. But have you tried it with the Lizalfos arm instead? The designs it makes can be quite mesmerizing. Rivali's Gale is now ready. Quiet, Rivali. Guardians have a strange weak spot on the top of their head. If you fire a bomb arrow at its head while it's moving around, it'll often flip right over. This is less likely to work when the Guardian is stationary, as all six legs anchor it in place. Did you know that rainbows can occur at night? I don't know how this is physically possible, but okay. 
If you take a closer look at King Rome's secret study in Hyrule Castle, there's an old tattered portrait on the wall with a really intricate frame above his desk. What's interesting though is that the developers plan to put a portrait of the royal family here, with King Rome, Zelda, and Zelda's mother, the queen. But by the looks of it, this idea was scrapped, never to be seen. I guess our only look at Zelda's mother we have so far is in this one cutscene in Age of Calamity. On Nintendo's official hiring website, there are some hidden unlisted videos you may not have seen before. One of them showcases the importance of graphical effect design, and how to telegraph information to the players. A side-by-side -side shows that it's impossible to understand what to do without seeing the effects themselves, such as showing when updrafts are active, when an enemy attack will strike, and punchy sword effects while striking enemies. This shows just how important it is to have good effects in game development. There's a secret combat technique in Breath of the Wild, called a shielded flip. While I won't go into all of its applications because there are a ton of complex and intricate ways to use this, my personal favorite one hands down is its ability to thunderclap rush after you mount a Lionel's back, which looks pretty awesome. It's a little too much to explain what's going on from scratch if you don't know multiple advanced techniques beforehand, but if you'd like us to go in depth with cool techniques like this, let us know. You can also take a peek at my combat glossary. Did you know that Yiga foot soldiers use quote unquote real ninjutsu? Before teleporting to attack you, they summon cursed Hylian letters in a seal before they attack. In clockwise order, they read out as Din, Pyo, To, Sha, Kai, Jin, Dets, Zai, and Zen, completing the Kuji incantation. And a side note you may not have known, you can flurry rush this attack. <laughs> Someone recently pointed out that you can make a full-on train using minecarts at Death Mountain. By using certain weapons or a treasure chest to push the caboose cart as an engine, you can create your own little spirit train. The coolest part hands down with this whole ordeal is that Breath of the Wild's audio design was so top-notch that this whole thing naturally sounds like an actual working train, without the developers directly intending to. Listen for yourself. It's very clear that Wind Cleavers had the Yiga in mind for its use, as the Blade Masters easily strike you from a distance with its Wind Slash attack. But other enemies have some problems using this weapon, as the Slash Moblins make can simply be crouched under because the Moblin is too tall, and the Bokoblins are so short that it can simply be shield jumped over. <laughs> These ancient furnaces carry the Blue Flame that powers ancient technology, and obviously can be transferred via arrow or burnable weapons. But did you know that there's another strange way to carry them? Multi-shot fire arrows carry the fire just as well. And on top of that, even bomb arrows carry the blue flame. Well, at least for a short distance until they explode from the ancient fire's heat. Man, this makes me want an ancient bomb arrow now. And there you go. What was your favorite thing you learned this time? Let us know in the comments below. And if you continue to enjoy new Breath of the Wild videos, we have a playlist of tons of stuff we still make to this day. For everything else gaming, keep it here on GameSpot.